Hi all, in this video we want to show you how you can unlock one of the super secret treasure chests in Bahari Bay. You might have seen one or two of these, or maybe not. In either case, this secret is all about four tiny phoenix statues that have been hidden in multiple places across the zone. Like a similar puzzle, the order you interact with them does not matter. Though once you have interacted with all, a secret treasure chest will appear at the final destination. Where? Here, in the phoenix room of the sunken city inside the flooded fortress. By the way, you will need a glider to access this part. The cool thing with this secret treasure is that it unlocks a unique floor tiling for your house in addition to a chest, of which you may have one or two already. Should you discover the phoenix room in the flooded fortress first, you will notice that the altar gives you hints as to where to find the four statues. These are very vague, but at least you know there are four things you must find. There are a few possible routes as to find all the four tiny statues. We will fast travel to hideaway bluffs, then run east to the first one. In this area, you can find some ruins and two geyser holes leading down into the mines. The statue, due to its tiny size, can be hard to spot, but is just inside the ruins here, well hidden in a corner. We then continue east towards the coast, keeping south all the way till we reach the shoreline. It's very easy to miss this one. It's here in the water, on these rocks that we found our second tiny statue. It's now time to travel north. You could use the fast travel at Beachcomber Cove to get to the central stables to save a little time. If you do, once at the central stables, run east alongside the aqueduct until you see a cave entrance on the left hand side, where we stand now. Voila! we got the third of the phoenix statues. You might have been here already. There's a geyser here and usually a chance to find Palium ore on the upper levels. The fourth and final statue can be located close to Tamala's house. You could fast travel up to the outskirts, but it's almost as quick to just run up there. The tiny statue is located on top of a cliff overlooking Tamala's dock and house. Now, after you have interacted with all four statues, it's time to head down to the flooded fortress and the phoenix room in the sunken city. We need to get up here, on the main part of the ruins. There are a few ways up. The easiest is to climb up on the northwest or southwest side where you typically can find Paleomore, then glide down to the central main structure from there. Alternatively, there are vines to climb on the center east side that also will get you there. We are here at the north entrance for the area. Once at the main part of the ruins, head through the passage going further inside. Then head down some stairs to the phoenix room itself. A chest will be visible at the altar with the inscriptions, just opposite of the larger phoenix statue. Pick it up and you'll get the rose matter tile floor as well as the treasure chest itself. And that's all for this guide. If you'd like to see more content from us, please don't forget to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. 